Whoa, what the fuck gives, man? I'm done with you. I'm done with your fucking bullshit. I'm done cleaning up your mess. You were given the keys to the Empire. But you were too fucking afraid to take them. You were born with a golden spoon in your mouth. But you choked on it. You're not going to take over the business. I am. And you know who agrees with me? Trixie. No. It's too bad the hit went down the way it did. That some um, <laughs> asshole had to kill you. I'm sure your dad'll be all broken up, but in time, he'll heal. Any final words? Remember Tommy Two Fingers? <laughs> Yeah, what of it? He's right behind you. So you really couldn't go well? Why would I stay? I'm not a killer, Jeb. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> I'm not a killer either. I was at a angel in the temple. My daddy was doing this for 50 years, Mr. Berg. 50 years. I've been doing it 15 myself, and, uh, oh, you know, I don't like the fact that we live out here. I don't like the fact that I clean the brains off my kitchen floor. I don't like the fact that, uh, well, we have to, um, eat some of them people. But I do know what it is that I'm doing. I'm killing people. I'm killing people. I'm hacking the fuck out of people and feeding them to my pet. Was it your daddy's dying wish for you to be a newspaper writer? Well, because it was my daddy's dying wish. I have been at this for a long time, Mr. Berg. And while you were chopping those two fuckers up last night, I saw it in you. You got the killer in you. And don't tell me you don't love that girl inside. You don't tell me that you don't love her. So we embraced you. And uh, embraced you unlike anything I had ever seen her. For life. And from what I saw last night, you are allowed to come back here in time. You clear your head up. Okay. Yeah. Show's over. Now get the fuck out of here. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Look, lady, all we want is <laughs> Oh, sweetie pie. I know what you want. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna get it and more. If you play nice with me, do you boys wanna play with me? Hey, 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 rubber nuts. Put your balls back in your pants and relax. What the hell is wrong with you? Shit is just wrong. What do you want, lady? Care for a drink, father? He's busy. He's praying and shit. Besides, priests don't drink. 
Dude. I brought Fresca. That's awful funny, dipshit. I thought your drink of choice was a comfort cocktail. Actually, yeah. priests do drink. Sure is cold outside today. It sure looks like rain. You know, it's midweek and they will be coming again soon. Come and find their own heaven at the expense of ours. Jeb, we have the right to choose our own destiny, even if it is at the expense of others. The only reason we are here is because Father made this heaven for us. If it wasn't for him and his teachings, we would not be this manifestation of peace and God's leadership. Otherwise, I'd want to leave this goddamn world. I remember the things that Father said. Father knew that death wasn't the worst thing for some people. For some people, living was the real death. He knew he was one of God's chosen people to do his good work. He didn't take much joy in it, but he rolled up his sleeves and got down to business when business had to get done. I learned more about the Lord and the Lord's way of weeding out the filthy and the weak than I would have ever learned spending 20 hours a day in church. <laughs> Daddy was a smart man. Oh, the smartest. And he was good at what he did. I never forget what he said to that Negro woman at the creek before he cut her up. He said, do not fear me. I am an angel of the Lord. <laughs> I have dined on his flesh. I have tasted his blood. I have become one with the Almighty. You are not a child of law. You and this filthy family are petty sinners. But I am here to save you. Your sacrifice to the Lord is your black soul cast in this grimy shell of flesh and bone. Your screams awake in the darkness. Your silence pleases the Lord. He cut out the guts. And she stayed quiet the whole time. I can only hope I'm half as good at it as he was. Chubb, you're very good at it. Ah, yeah, but unlike Father, I tend to take some pleasure in it. We both know that there is no shame in taking pleasure in our work. I know that he's watching us, and he's proud of the job that we're doing. He always wanted me in charge of the killing, and I like killing. Man. I get the satisfaction of knowing that I'm doing the good deed, and saving God the work, and I'm the righteous. You are the righteous. You are an angel of God. We know that. We all know that. We're all very proud of you. The Lord's proud of you. Daddy's proud of you. I'm proud of you. He always said, do not forget that you have a gift. Know each day that you are blessed. I know that. I know that every day that I wake up, I'm going to make the world a better place. And I'm going to help the world cleanse itself. Maybe we should go in. Old Blue needs food. We've got a lot of extra work to do this week. Old Blue will be fine. He'll have plenty once this week's over. When a man dies, he hears words spoken in a calm tone. It must be yours that he hears.